Assalamu alaikum, it's Jenaji. Welcome back to my channel. This is the third and the final video for this week's video lineup. The first we would have done um, corned beef, we would have done a tuna casserole, and now this one we are using canned items yet again. This time we are going to be working with canned mackerel. So these canned food items are something that the majority of us will probably have in our cupboards. I usually stock up on corned beef, I would have my salmon, the tuna would be in there as well, but mackerel is not something that I really, really stock up on. So I found one um, can of the mackerel and I said, you know what, let's just put this into a video and see how it goes. So my choice was to stew it and by stew I mean something similar to what we would do with our salmon, the pink salmon that we find in the can. We'd normally stew it a little bit. And then I went, opened the fridge, and I saw some coconut milk. So I say, well, why not add some coconut milk and see how that goes? So let's just jump into the video, talk about the ingredients, and let's see how exactly I went about cooking it. These are the ingredients that we need for our stewed mackerel in coconut milk. I've got my canned mackerel here already. I will be honest, they don't look very much appetizing, but we're going to be using these today. We're going to be using some paprika, some ketchup, my coconut milk, my green seasoning, hot pepper, of course, onion, tomato, and I have some chopped up side hair. And to cook, I'm going to be cooking with coconut oil. So if you're probably wondering, coconut milk, so much coconut milk in it. But let me just tell you what, coconut milk is something that I actually really like in food. I like the flavor in it, and especially with the curry. But because I had the extra in the fridge, I see, well, why not just try something, right? So let's just continue along with the cooking part of the video now. I forgot to mention garlic too. We cannot cook without garlic. At least me and garlic is one thing I have to cook with. So the first thing I'm going to be doing basically is just preparing the vegetable parts. That's just the onion, the garlic, tomato, the hot peppers. So I'm just going to cut each one up, small pieces, large pieces, really up to you. You guys know by now that I enjoy spicy food, so I'm putting a lot of pepper, but you can of course put as much as you like. Now next thing I'm going to be doing is just trying to remove some of this bone part of the fish i'm going to be honest i don't like biting into the bone at all and again this does not look so appetizing i will say but i'm just going to be removing this bone from it as much as possible so before like we go any further just have to make sure make sure you line it up properly so when I say lime it up, I mean put a lot of lime because it's so fresh. So I'm starting off by adding some oil to the pot. I'm keeping my heat on low medium. Then I'm going to be adding the chopped up onions, garlic, hot pepper and tomatoes. So I'm going to cook that for a couple of minutes just until the onions are nice and tender. And then I'm going to be adding the ketchup. So I'm going to stir this up, keep stirring it for just about a minute or two. And then in goes the coconut milk. I'm going to stir that up, add just a bit of water, and I'm just going to let this cook for two to three minutes. Next, I'm going to add some of the paprika, and I'm going to be adding the green seasoning followed by our mackerel. I'm going to give this a quick stir. So because I don't want it to mash up or break up and get all mushy, I'm just going to leave this on just for about a minute. Turn off your heat and that would be it for your mackerel. So my choice is to eat it with dal and rice, but you could eat it with just about anything you have who you want to eat it with, but this is just my choice. So dal and rice and stew mackerel in coconut milk. So really and truly, this meal isn't really hard to cook, and I know that many people do actually enjoy the mackerel, right? 
So whenever I'm really doing cooking videos, like my videos are normally scheduled weeks in advance. So uh, once I'm cooking something, you know, I tend to put the camera on and as you can probably tell by the flow of my videos now, I don't necessarily cook the same time I'm doing the talking. So some, most times I would do the, the, the filming or whatever I'm doing, even if it's experiment, and put it for my video schedule whenever that whenever that is. Sometimes you don't even see what all the things that I end up taping because sometimes it's failures. But I will try to include it in other videos. Um, the other day I did something, try something in beef in the air fryer. Well, that didn't work out too good. So you all ain't seeing that anytime soon. And this video, after I did this one, right, I say, well, should I bother to post it or do over something? Or something? But I say, you know what, let me just post it for you all. Coconut milk in it was a nice addition. But I wouldn't say y'all should probably really do it. I mean, it was good in the video. I used a little more than I was really supposed to use. In the recipe though, that is up on my website, you will see the correct amount that I think you should use in it. So the amount that you saw in the video was a little too much for the amount of the mackerel that I used. But the taste itself, as in the sauce, it was good with the, with the balance of the pepper and the tomato, the ketchup and the, the coconut milk. It was a nice taste, right? You see then we get into the mackerel part of it. I think that is by the title you see one of my least favorite meal I've ever made or I've ever cooked. I think it's because of the mackerel. Uh, you know people do like the karaili, but I love the karaili. You know people didn't like tripe, but I love tripe. I think y'all mackerel for me might be my least favorite food item ever. So I definitely did not like the bone part of it. I tried to remove the majority of it. But then when I sat down to eat it, and I cook, I make it, but put it with dal and rice too, because when I eat in salmon, it's like stew salmon, normally like I would eat it with dal and rice and it would go long real good. So I say, well, why not try to make the mackerel something similar to that now? But um, it didn't really go so well. So I just sit down, I eat it, and I bite into the mackerel bone. I say, now nah, boy, I really couldn't make any more. So definitely not my favorite canned food item out there. The recipe for this video could be found on my website. Like I said, it wasn't bad tasting. I tasted fine. The amount of coconut milk you see in the video was adjusted on the website, so you should use that recipe amount. But it was a mackerel that I really did not enjoy so much. So, I mean, you might like it. That's why I said, let me just still post the video for you guys. You all might be interested in trying it out and see how it goes. But if you think oh, you have a best way to cook mackerel, well, share it with me and one, I'll definitely give them a try. But as of right now, not on my one of my top favorite items at all. But nevertheless, guys, this is one of those times you cook something and you ain't really sure if you like it or not. And I just thought I'd have a share with you guys. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Try the recipe. Let me know what you all think. Comment down below and let me know how you guys make your mackerel. So that would bring us to the end of this week's video lineup using canned items in different ways. So stay tuned to next week's video lineup. We shall see what we're going to be doing in those videos. So thanks as always for watching guys. I will see you all in my next video.